Hello everyone, I'm Lula, leader of the Go Gamers, and welcome to our first ever edition of the Gamer Sin. Uh, first of all, let us all be reminded that this is the start of our coverage for Nate Pace Fall Day, which only starts in just a matter of a few hours away. And here I am, also inside the den with Mr. Lusager himself, Captain Nate Pace Dead Plank Pacewell. Very big welcome to you, sir. How are you? I'm doing good. How is everybody? Uh, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so, uh, first of all, I guess, uh, we should ask a little about yourself, uh, pretty much. Uh, like, I want to start from the beginning here. Like, before this lovely, lovely, lovely game even existed, how did you even entertain yourself in your spare time? Uh, with other games, I guess. With other games. Um, bit of music. Uh, oh, sorry. Cut you off. Keep going. My bad. That's okay. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, we just played oh. other games and that. <laughs> okay. Um, any games in particular you liked? Uh, I played a whole lot of For Honor. Hmm. That's interesting. I've heard... Uh, a lot of friends I used to hang out with play for honor for the game. That's cool. Yeah, um, it, was a, it was a good game. Yeah. Um, so, uh, how did you first encounter the game? Uh, like, how did you first know about it? Was it E3, Alpha, what? Uh, well, it first turned up in in the Xbox store. That's where I first kind of kind of heard about it. And I had a friend of mine who was looking for some crew and didn't have anybody to sail with so he he sent me a uh a request for a game share and we just kind of took off from there just as a duo eventually i got game pass and and after i got game pass it was just all systems go from there i, I didn't stop mm -hmm. all right so i guess that goes into uh, the third part of my first question here um did this change anything for you both inside and outside of your um, so-called, um, I guess you can call it your gaming uh, universe at this point, since, you know, we have both um, our gaming lives and then we have our lives um, outside of our games. So, um, like, after CFIS, how did that all change when you start playing? Well, where do I start? Uh, when, I, when I first started... Uh, it was basically just, hey, let's be a pirate, you know. I, the whole whole idea of the game was very attractive to me. I liked the, the freedom of it and just being able to sail around and do what I liked, rob other players, you know, the classic the classic PvP style thing. But um, as, I, as I started playing, I started to kind of grow in the real life, you know. Like there was pirating started to just kind of take over my life. I started buying paraphernalia, you know, like uh, hats and skulls trinkets you know all sorts of crazy ass stuff and now now it's like my whole life is kind of developing around it it's weird it's not an intentional thing it's just kind of shaping who i am like uh, i've started meeting new people and getting more confidence to walk out out in the street and stuff like that you know meet new people and yeah it's really really has affected my my real life scenario mm -hmm. um so uh, let's go into one of the dying trends for Sea Thieves. Um, like, it was big okay. when uh, it first started, but um, there's this trend of roleplay. Uh, yep. Like, did you ever think about that possibility of roleplaying inside the game? Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. I wanted to start doing, like, you know, comic strips, uh, except using in-game footage, you know, like taking pictures and and adding comic strips over the top of it. Uh, I wanted to kind of develop my own storylines and stuff like that, but I'm not too tech savvy when it comes to videos and, and editing clips and stuff like that. So I just kind of kind of went with that, you know. I didn't fulfill it. <clears throat> um, okay. Um, all right. Uh, number three here. Um, a while back... Um, 
correct me if I'm wrong, you used to be part of uh, Dread Heart Dog's uh, Race of Legends as one of, uh, quote unquote, the best huntsmen out there. And then at one point, you decide <laughs> to to uh, take the back seat and quit. Uh, why? Well, uh, over time, the crew eventually disbanded. We um, we had our good run, but I guess some of the other players that I used to run with, they uh, started finding interest in other fields. You know, they, they don't so much play the game anymore. Which is understandable. I mean, it's not for everybody. People don't grind it like I grind it. I mean, I play shit every damn day. I, there's barely a time where I'm not on the seas. Um, yeah, these guys, they eventually just just called it quits, I guess. Uh, so, um, do you ever plan to make a return at some point? Definitely, definitely. I got my eyes on on constructing a crew. I was hoping to have one for season three of the Race of Legends, but um, yeah, I, I won't be racing as the original crew as mm. I was. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots that's of crews in that, that's interesting because in um, you know we at the Go Gamers um, we're trying to construct a crew, and yet we have like yep. half the required number. We have like I don't know, two, three, if we're lucky for Pally then shows up, but <laughs> yeah, we yeah, only have yeah, like two. It's tricky to make the All right, so, um, um, I'm assuming you have, um, a relationship with, uh, I guess back in Race of Legends, you guys were called the Red Dog Crew. Uh, like, it, yeah. what is uh, your relationship with them now? Like, uh, how well, are you guys them, doing? Well, we're, we're doing all right. A lot of them don't so much play anymore. Uh, not as much as they used to, at least. So we, we still keep in contact. We're still still buddies, I guess you could say. But mm -hmm. yeah, uh, uh, on, the, on the seas, not so much. We, we don't... We don't sail as often. I still sail with my captain, uh, Beatty. Captain Beatty, he still hangs about. We sail every now and then. But uh, not to any sort of elite. Mm, and, um, yeah, I'm guessing uh, you still do your little on-the-map web show every so often. We do. Um, so how's that even going? Like, uh, it's so spotty. Like, I'm subscribed to you guys. <clears throat> and, yeah. And, yeah, so that's well, why I'm like... What the heck is happening? <laughs> yeah, well, it's quite literally two people that, that run the channel. So there's me and there's Beatty. Um, Beatty does all of the editing. He does all of the footage footage taking. He does, you know, all of the voiceovers and the dubbing and stuff like that. And his work schedule is pretty crowded. So he can't just do things like... I think that's where we suffered the most. And that's because, you know, we just... We don't have the time fields, you know. We, we don't have the slots to be able to keep up the maintenance of the channel and keep posting videos. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. So, um, I follow you on Twitter, right? Right. So I looked yeah. in there, and uh, in your little description thing, you brag you're a S C of Thesologist, however you say that. Uh, uh, how do you define that? Uh, I call it a psychologist because basically, you know, you, you got the science fields of things, right? Like you got geology, you got uh, Scientology, you know, these different ologies, right? So the study of the Sea of Thieves game, I used to sail around a lot and study every aspect of the game that I could from how far a cannon shoots to how often the eclipse occurs. Mm -hmm. and, and that just kind of, I guess, started off a thing, you know, I just, I wanted a name for it and the name kind of come to me as a as a funny little pun, I guess you could say. Mm, yeah, so um, that kind of answers my question about the, you know, um, eclipse thing, like, like yeah. you just said, you just go around exploring everywhere. Um, yeah. <clears throat> um, so 
at one point, when did you start this loot stacking business of yours? Uh, what inspired you to uh, do it? Well, uh, it started late last year, around the November, December period. And um, I'd recently hit Athena 10. Uh, back in that stage, we didn't have like the extra commendations that we have today. And there was very, very little for me to keep doing. And I didn't want to accept that there was nothing left to do. So <laughs> I was just sailing around one day and I was just stacking up my loot as we usually do. And just thought to myself, I'm going to give it to that sloop over there. So <laughs> like, I, didn't, I didn't want to cash it in for myself because it wasn't going anywhere. You know, I was just, I was making bank, you know, rocking up my gold count and there's nothing to spend it on. So I just felt like loot, loot was being wasted. And I just started giving it to other players and found an excuse to continue playing in doing so and then eventually i just started you know putting posts on twitter you know if i if i didn't find a ship on the server to give my loot to i'd put a post on twitter and say hey join my crew you know get, get involved and you can take all of this loot off me and it was making people happy and that was enough for me i kept going and just didn't stop since mm, so um um going off a little bit um since since you live um, out in Australia, uh, what's it like mm -hmm. out there? I heard uh, on, on your oh. Twitter a lot that the ping out there is pretty bad, and yeah. It is. Yeah, man. Uh, Australian internet service is, in comparison to the rest of the world, pretty B-grade. Uh, whether it be governmental budget cuts or whatever reason, the position on the globe maybe. But yeah, yeah our, our internet service is not quite the best in comparison to the rest of the planet. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, what is it like out there uh, besides, um, you know, this bad ping issue? Hot. Lots of hot weather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see that it gets humid over here. I remember the one summer it was hot. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> well, it's middle of winter and it's currently 19 degrees Celsius. 50 Fahrenheit, 60 Fahrenheit. <clears throat> I'm not I'm too savvy with the, the temperature conversions. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, when. So what <clears throat> do you uh, find as your favorite moment in the game of so far? My favorite moment? Yeah. Oh. All right, I'm, I'm going to say when we gave a loot stack away to Chris Marlow, one of the, develop, the developer team. So, uh, yeah, he was on his way to Pirate Legend and um, Daggers McTimbers, Balzania, he was sailing with them. I put a post up while they were streaming on Twitter and Balls, I think, sung out and he was like, hey, Nate's giving away a loot stack, Chris, get amongst it. And, yeah, we had him on the crew and... He got involved, put the rare sails on our boat. That was a really cool experience. I never thought in my life I'd actually see the rare sails myself. But yeah, that would definitely have to be have to be my favourite moment, at least at the moment. Yeah. Um. Are you able to uh, show that uh, for our viewers here? Since uh, I am sharing my screen literally to everybody that's uh, viewing this. Uh, yeah. I don't. I don't know how I would show you over the phone here like this, but uh, there are pictures pictures on Twitter there. A uh, recent post actually has a photo of um, the ra the ship with the rare sails, the Robin Hood with the rare sails on it. I posted that up pretty recently when uh, the Sea of Thieves, they posted, uh, what's your favorite hot yeah, favorite moments? Stuff like that. Uh, it was like a friendship day sort of thing. And I, I commented with, with some of my my top moments, but there there is a picture there. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I would show it to you from here though. <clears throat> it's okay. I'll probably find it. <laughs> yeah. Air sand. Uh, as you said earlier, uh, not too tech savvy. Savvy, you would know how to uh, upload to Discord. <laughs> yeah. 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 So um. I guess uh, I can ask for the flop side too. Um, your least favorite moment. Um, My least favorite moment. 
Oh, honestly, that would have to be the day that I kind of accepted that we weren't going for Race of Legends anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I and can now, understand. It's it's sad. Like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry, cut you off. Did you? <laughs> Whatever. No, no, you're okay. No, I'm just saying. Yeah. All right. When the red dogs no longer sailed anymore, that was probably the most or the least least ideal moment of my of my Sea of Thieves life. Kind of hurt, you know. <laughs> yeah, you got a crew that you sail with, like literally every day for nearly a year straight, and then all of a sudden you're alone. Mm -hmm. So uh, now, when you compare yourself to others, um, how do you see fit, really? When I compare myself to others, that's an interesting question. I guess I don't really compare myself to other people outside of like developing my my expertise like I'll, I'll look at people that i consider more experienced and then i'll judge what i do differently to them that's probably affecting the outcome of my gameplay but that's about as far as comparing with other people as far as i'm concerned now you know all pirates are equal you know we're all we're all here on the seas having an adventure together doing our thing mm, yeah i can see that i mean me honestly, I'm not so skilled at the PvP. Like, like Ethan brags he's good at the PvP in home, but <laughs> I'll say that if if there ever comes a day where it's like the matchup between me to you, I would watch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because because uh, I know oh, okay. I know how you like to brag about your home skills. <laughs> Well, yeah, I, I think that I've got most of my big head on my helm mostly from like Doug and the, the Race of Legends community because they're always bragging about how I'm the finest helmsman there is. But honestly, I can I can debate that now. What with the Crimson Tide Pirates, they completely obliterated our world record for the Season 1 track. <clears throat> so I, I would definitely take my hat off towards the helmsmen of the Crimson Tide Pirates. They definitely, they definitely showed their mettle. <clears throat> Right. Um, okay, so um, <clears throat> um, picture this for me. Um, say you were suddenly t captaining a, a crew, um, and you, and like, uh, however many of you, Brian, or even just yourself, um, you get tossed into a forceful situation with one of the last remaining. Uh, Royal Navy groups in the community, how would you respond? Uh, like, say someone was giving official, like, um, things that were text saying, hey, we're at the Royal Navy, give us your stuff or die. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, well, if I was on a loot stack, I would try extremely hard to send them to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> yeah, they, they're not taking any of my stuff. This, this is for the people. <laughs> Absolutely no way. But I, I would fight hard. I can't say that I would win the fight, as that's never never a guarantee. But um, yeah, I'd, I'd definitely I'd take them on. That's for sure. <laughs> um. Okay. So, uh, I guess I can even go further into that. Um. Like, say you were selling around with people and, you know, someone out of nowhere uh, becomes verbally toxic. Uh, would you say anything back at all? Ah, toxicity. I've had my fair share of toxicity when it comes to, to Sea of Thieves, whether it be because they're, they're brand new to the game or whatnot. Um, I suppose it depends on the time frame of when I was playing. Early days, when I was fresh to the game, I still had that fresh mindset coming from a community like For Honor, for example, or uh, Grand Theft Auto, those, those people were rather cancerous, and I had like a natural kind of defense. You know, every time someone was toxic to me, I'd return with toxicity. But nowadays, nowadays I'm a lot more calmer about it, I guess you could say. If I, if I have someone, you know, calling my crewmates trash, I just say, hey man, that's not nice. You know, like I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll reply pretty passively, 
you know, I'll reassure my crew that was targeted was, uh, you know, they, they're all just full of junk and my crew are exceptional crew and there's nothing anyone can say to change. But yeah, toxicity is just something that we've got to deal with, I guess, and it comes down to whether you react to it or, you know, you just kind of let it, let it bounce off you. Mm -hmm. I feel like the best thing to do though would be to, you know, be passive about it, you know, like despite them insulting you know still be there for you know treat them like a friend that'd be the best way to counter talk you know someone someone calls you trash or a junk player or something just be like hey like that's okay that it's okay for you to have that opinion <clears throat> i'm still having fun i'm sure you do um now um i'm sure you get the ideals um that you were bring your own community now um how do your feelings compare between, um, like, your community that you run now and, you know, with the game as a whole as it is currently? Like, um, well, I guess how do you, uh, you know, compare, you know, your views and feelings with that? Well, uh, that's, that's a tricky question. So, because the, the Sea of Thieves community in the whole is one of the, the greatest communities I have ever been a part of. Like, I, I, like I was saying, I come from For Honor and I come from uh, Grand Theft Auto, and they had some of the, the most toxic people that you will ever meet on internet gaming, I, I guess, at least from my experience, anyway. <clears throat> but um, yeah, when it comes to the community that I run now, I, like we're we're all very much very much like minded. We um we all hold the same goals and aspirations. We all just here to have fun on the seas and. And I guess I feel very much the same way between the two different communities. They're, they're all my friends. They're all my family, uh, whether they're in my Discord or not. I, I guess it's all pretty, pretty identical in comparison to the two. So, um, with that being said, um, when you heard about uh, the PL rush where your one players had till March 20th of this year, to register their accounts for Power Legends status to obtain those rewards. Did that change your yep. um, um, business model at all for your loot stacking or uh, in a store way? It did, way? actually. Yeah, it did. It definitely amped things up. We went from just doing standard, you know, we'd, we would run two Athenas and a Skull Fort and we'd give that away. But when it comes to uh, reaching Pirate Legend within that time frame, things, things went through the roof. We started stacking every day for six to 12 hours and given away to as many people as we could. Like it, Chris Marlowe even was in that period because he wanted to reach Pirate Legend. And that was during the Times 2 weekend. You remember the Times 2 weekend? The um, double loot, double mm -hmm. XP? Mm -hmm. Yeah, which was really great. That whole weekend, that whole weekend, we were on the seas just grinding and grinding and grinding so that other people could get a hold of some things. I just wish I could have given to, to more people than who we could fit on the boat. But yeah, that definitely kicked things into gear. That, that's probably where the loot stacking really took off from from that period, about a month to a week before the, uh, the deadline. Yeah, so um, I'm guessing, uh, how does that even uh, compare to um, now? Is it still the same as... Uh, before the PL rush, or should I say during, I should say. Um, during the PL rush, yep. Like, um, well, <clears throat> like, are things the same? Did they change? Did, like, uh, how? Oh, no, they've definitely evolved, yeah. We've got, um, like, 12 hour runs happening. Like, like, we stack way more loot nowadays over the past month or so than we ever did. Than we ever did. <clears throat> the PL rush definitely uh, stepped our game up. We started doing a lot more, and that was when we we felt pretty comfortable stacking more. So, so as time went on, we just kept adding and adding and adding. Like I think the most I've given away now is two hundred and eighty-six thousand in gold. I, I've got no idea what sort of rep that uh, <laughs> that that picks up, but um, yeah, we like over time we just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger and eventually we want to get even more huge you know mm -hmm. 
So um, we're always looking for ways to with, up, up the top. So with um, the current event going on with the gunpowder sashes, um, yep. does that even change anything? Like, do you include these gunpowder stashes that you would normally use on aggressive crews and whatever else that yeah, might come yeah, your way? No, that's a good question. Um, well, for starters, things were a lot trickier, especially in the earlier time of this recent update. There were lots of people sailing around with anywhere up from 15 powder kegs and they would just hop into your boat. If they snuck up on you, they'd hop into your boat, pull themselves in and just blow themselves up. They would take their boat out. They would take your boat out. Everyone did. Like they, they would have mega kegs on board and they would just, they would obliterate you. Like they, they did not mess around. Absolutely no mercy, not even for themselves. <clears throat> But uh, as time went on, it did start to quieten down. We started to recognize signs from other players as to whether they were doing doing something sneaky. The trust factor was definitely on an all-time low. <laughs> yeah, so um, I'm sure with this fleet building now, like, um, I'm sure I've been, you know, as we said earlier, esoteologists or how you said um i'm Apology. young said a little bit too um yep. and i've been looking at lines a lot more for me personally okay. i mean yep. i don't go into alliances but like uh you know it depends on <clears throat> person person so um i want to ask uh, how do you view um like alliances these days like let's say you're just selling around not looking to form a fleet yet you know someone mm -hmm. either offers it or you kind of feel it in yourself you kind of want to throw that flag up well uh i've had some experiences in my life of people coming up to me with alliance flags making it look like they they intend to form an alliance and i guess it kind of lures you in like, oh, you just assume they're friendly, you know, oh, they got the alliance flag up, obviously they want to hang about, and we go over and say hello, and then they start attacking us. So that, that kind of makes things hard when it comes to seeing an alliance flag approaching. Yeah, so... But, um, um, I'm, I'm usually pretty pretty good with alliances. I don't, I don't mind teaming up with people, you know, I'm always helping pirates out, and if they seem pretty genuine, then yeah, for sure, we'll ally up. <clears throat> so, um... You think alliances, um, have they become more peaceful or hostile in the current state of game as is, um, community-wise? Uh, well, I suppose, I suppose it depends from crew to crew. Because a, a lot of people out there use alliances strategically for piracy. They, they will literally form an alliance, they'll, they'll rig up voyages and they'll... They'll try and get information from you as to what your voyage that you just put down entails, and then they'll meet up with you at the end of it and just take you for everything you've got. You know, they'll 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 form alliances merely to rig up a steal later down the track. So you get players like that from time to time. Like not, I wouldn't say heaps often, but from time to time. But when, compared to when alliances first came out. I would definitely say that uh, alliances have come a, a much further way in regards to friendliness. You know, you, you've got a lot of people that actually go out there. They take over entire set. You know, they, they'll alliance with every single person. They'll invite them all to the Xbox party and, and they'll just run rampant for God knows how long all over this server and just make money for everyone. But in, in other situations, there's generally some pretty malice. In so... Um... I guess we can talk about um, in-game events, like um, Tautas, for example. Um, how did uh, the Fleetbound go with um, the majority of people uh, doing these Tautas whenever that was there was um, that trend? Like, how hard was it on you? Uh, not super hard. Not super hard. Because I was pretty pretty open with my times and I, i'm very flexible too so like I, if you can't make it you can't make it if you want to do something else then that's perfectly fine you know no arguments from me so like yeah it was pretty it, it did quieten down a little bit uh, there were lots of my regular loot stackers that I, I used to hang out with all the time just 
smashing tall tales or they were smashing arena and I wasn't finding crew. You know, I, I was out there by myself trying to stack alone and and that is that is a big no no. You want to stack like like we've been stacking, don't do it alone. <laughs> yeah, you, you'll end up you'll end up at the bottom or just not feeling like you've fulfilled enough. You'll sail for six and a half hours and only have half the loot you aim for. <clears throat> right. So yeah, it did it did kind of impact in a way, but it wasn't like a wasn't an upsetting sort of deal, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, let's discuss one of your, uh, already recently biggest events to date, uh, before this one, yep. uh, your first mega stack giveaway. Um, I there, that was great. I, uh, wasn't there myself, neither was, uh, our sick nerd lead, um, these clues or any of us here at the go Gamers, but, um, I, you're a lot of fun. Um, could you, uh, care to explain how it went? Um, and how, went, you know, how it went about. Well, it, it went pretty good. Like we actually had some, um, some pretty good success considering it was our first community event. Like it, it was the first thing that we threw together and, and things planned out pretty good. Like we had some pretty good names come along, like Gullible Gambit, we had a uh, Carrillo, they, yeah, they all got involved. Uh, Doug come in from the Race of Legends, he come in for a short time period. Yeah, we had some uh, some good times. Uh, we it was spread out across two servers, so like uh, we had like Nerd Propellant and Chalk Mood doing that on on my server, just sailing around with each other and kind of just it, it was real real chaos. You know, there was lots of rotating boats and stuff, but we managed to get that loot stack handed out. And then there was um yeah Gullible Gambit and Carilla on it. They were on the other server with Gramps and Calico and all that, <clears throat> which it was really good. Like we things resulted pretty nicely. There was a Bit of a mishap though with a kraken and a storm which kind of <laughs> kind of sent some of the loot to the depths but um you know these things happen that's sea of thieves for you but otherwise we still managed to collectively pick up about 300 and something, which is pretty average mm. um so this is coming up i um in like an hour according to my time zone or yeah it is it's like, yeah, I'm wrong. Yeah, it's really um so when you first heard about it uh you know before you start making arrangements or anything uh when you first heard someone in the community say hey i'm proclaiming this holiday in your order um <laughs> you know um like i saw you in twitter but you know i didn't read really between everything but you sound pretty excited, um, but really, I want to ask him, how did you feel on that? Well, honestly, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm always game to new challenges. I'm always game for, for taking suggestions from the community as well. Like, if, if people are like, hey, let's do this, let's do that, uh, I'm open to it, you know. Uh, I try not to enter things with too much hope just to be sure, you know, things don't work out because you know you can't just plan something and have it work immediately right so you, you got to make sure that you kind of keep your your emotions in a certain spot so that way you don't feel let down you know right but, but it was all in all right i'm sure you uh like i read in the tweet um you sound pretty excited so i was like okay <laughs> he's that <happy> guy <laughs> yeah i i'm definitely stoked that um I'm really, really keen for this one, that's for sure. Yeah, so, um, so, uh, what would you say to any average new player coming into the game? Uh, in, in what regard, necessarily? But... Um, like, um, like, uh, they just got the game and they st want to jump into it right away, kind of like I did. <laughs> Yeah, right, right, right. Well, I would say brace yourself because it's it's not all sunshine and rainbow. The game looks very tame in regards to like it, it's um, kind of, I, I guess you could say it's kind of cartoony. So you would approach the game like, oh, look, this game looks pretty friendly. It's a fairy tale world, you know, but it, it's savage and it's ruthless. So I, I would say to new players when that are like, if they're starting out fresh today, don't play with expectations. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and 
let's say um, that some of these players, uh, you know, they're maybe advocates of you, you know, they get the game, they play, and then, um, then at some point they're like, hey, I want to start loose stacking and, you know, try taking up this job that you're doing on their own. Uh, if you saw them, uh, would you tell them anything? I I would celebrate. <laughs> I, I would celebrate the idea. If they, they wanted to start loot sacking and stuff like that, I'd be like, you guys are absolute champions. Yeah, yeah, I, I completely support more pirates stack and loot, especially if they're giving it away. Mm. So, um... Um, I'm guessing um, I can ask for anyone that's wondering, um, what is uh, your social media, uh, like uh, where can everybody reach out to you? Uh, CFE's related, I go Twitter. Twitter would be the best place to reach out, simply because I don't use like Facebook. Uh, I stopped using that since I met Twitter. But uh, yeah, if they they follow me on Twitter, you know, you don't even have to follow me. Just straight up reach out. You know, I'm I'm a cool dude. I'm everybody's friend. You don't need to be shy. <laughs> like just just say hello, you know. And yeah, I can give you any information you need. We can all chat. We can hang out. Go sailing together. Mm. Yeah, Twitter. Twitter's definitely the best place to go. Yeah. So um um. Any final thoughts um, before we uh, close out? Well, uh, if anybody is actually getting into Sea of Thieves, if anyone's playing right now, go hard, man. Yeah, don't don't quit. Just keep it up. Keep your head up. Stay strong. And, and every time you have a misfortune, just wear it like a champion. Learn from it. All right. Um... <clears throat> All right, um, I'm assuming that's all from you. Yeah, yeah, if you've got nothing else, I, I'm pretty all pretty right. much covering all the bases. I've got a loot loot stack to start up. We've got to start fleet building in about an hour, so I've got to make sure that the community's all around to go. I can hear my Discord vibrating through my head as people try to ask me questions. <laughs> they all know I'm doing this. So. <laughs> all right, um, um. Thank you, uh, Ms. Pacewell. Um, Thank you. It's been very much a pleasure. Very nice to meet you. Uh, sorry honor. we couldn't uh, get the camera working earlier. I don't know why. Other than nah, uh, okay. my application here not working. It would have been nice to see your face and all that. <laughs> but, uh, you yeah, know, lag. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, remember everyone that uh, we will be taking part in... Uh, Nave pace for a day here. Um, first up is um, Music Clues, and then I'll be later. Uh, you can follow us and watch on Twitch Mixer. On Twitch, we are the Go Gamers, and on Mixer, we go by Video Game DJ for uh, Music Clues and Lulu15 for me. Um, Again, Muse Clues will be going first first thing in the morning on the first grind, and I'll be on the third grind. And, and uh, also remember to follow us on Twitter. Uh, my handle is uh, Lulu1597. And oh, I f forget. Um, let's see. I'm going to look up his handle for a minute here. Did he give it? Nope. <laughs> Um, everything's in the description, okay? I'm sorry, I couldn't see the handles how long. <laughs> okay, but That's everything's right. in the description. Um, uh, everything for Nave, everything for us, everything's in the description, guys. Go look, check it out. Okay? Alright. It was really so, good to be here, Dal. Alright. Thanks for having me. Yep. Alright, so, that's it. Again, Nave, thank you. Um. It's been a pleasure. Yep. Yep, um, alright guys, so again that's it, I'm Lula, leave with the gamer, the Go Gamers, okay. here in the okay. Gamers Den, have a nice gaming day, thank you, bye! Bye!